Hey guys, I'm having an issue with OpenELEC. I'm actually having two issues. One is regarding uh, Windows um, Network Show, Samba, and the other one it has to do with uh, what do you call it? Um, Mac OS X Lion. Um, with the Mac, if I go into Findu and I go into OpenELEC, um, and I go to my external flash, um, external hall drive that I have my media on, um, I can't wait anything to it. So if I have a file that's on my Mac, say I'll uh, take this image and um, put it in there, it won't let me copy it. It says there's not enough free space. I want to know if it is possible that the write from a Mac to it or it's not possible. Now the external hard drive is not like Mac formatted, it's not OS journal or anything, so it's I think I think it's um an NTSF format being that I have files bigger than uh two gigs, so I don't it's not fat. So I don't know if it's because it's a Mac and it's trying to wait to an NTFS format hard drive. But it doesn't really make sense though, because it's over the network. I thought that would kind of like bypass it. But anyway, if there's a way I could wait, um, that would be great. Uh, that's my first question. Second question is Windows. I have a remote desktop client to my uh, Windows computer, and um, as you can see here, it doesn't show. It shows OpenELEC right here under the. I think that's for the DLNA. But it doesn't show on the computer, and it used to show on the computer. If I hit refresh, it will um, it won't show. The only way I could get to um, it, which is taking forever to refresh, um, is I have to type in the IP address, which is right here. Once I type that in, it takes me right to there, and then. I could um, go into the USB drive, my external, and then now I could, I, and through Windows I could write to it, and that's good because I usually, you know, I usually transfer files from over the network, but it's kind of a pain cause with the first question, I want to be able to do it on both my Mac and Windows, but with Windows, it's I have to manually put in that IP, this IP. And that also causes an issue with, I have a Western Digital Media box I got. It's, very, it's like a cheap $80 box. And, um, you know, I would, it detects the um, DLNA, but it won't play back some of the files for whatever reason. I don't know why it's finicky, finicky. But if I, when it used to work, when it used to show up under the network, it used to say open ELEC, like if I typed in, um, I spelled it right, um, I used, it used to show up as a computer, see now it is, I, I actually just, it didn't do this like a second ago, so now it's going to show up, so if I go into the hue, and refresh, um, I want to know why that, like, that decides to pop up whenever it feels, feel like it. See, now my Mac just showed up, too. I don't understand that. So, but anyway, I want to know how I could keep this there. Because if I, if I, um, I don't know. That's going to stay there now. But I don't understand why most of the time that doesn't show up. I haven't had that show up in over a month. So I just kind of looked out while I was recording this. But anyway, um, if you could um, post... And let me know how I can fix the Mac white issue. Also, here, let me show you while I'm here. The, um, I already renamed that. So let me open that up. Um, I already renamed it. And all I added to it was the whoop was the USB drive 
Now, I don't know if I'm missing something else to make it work right. But everything else is the same. I didn't mess with anything else because I don't really know what I'm doing. But, um, like I said, this this um, usually doesn't show up. So I want to know how I could keep that to show up. Uh, but, yeah, if you could post up, that would be awesome. Thank you.